Proverbs 14, 19. The evil bow before the good, and the wicked at the gates of the righteous. We're to rightly divide the word of God. And this is certainly true in this verse, or you will render it false. For instance, the Bible declares everyone to be a sinner. Romans 10, 3.10 says, As is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Though no man is inherently good in himself, by the grace of God he's given a new nature that can do good when he gets saved. Visions 2 through 8 through 10 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and not, not of yourselves, it's the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Good people do finish in first place, and rewarded by God in this world, but always in the next. Men often reason that it doesn't pay to be good as they see evil men seemingly successful. In Malachi it says, Ye have said, It is vain to serve God, and what profit is that we have kept his ordinance and we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? And now ye call the proud happy, yea, they that work wickedness are set up, yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. But wisdom will tell us that what we so often see as successful is only temporary. The proverb, chapter 24, verse 19 and 20 says, Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked, for there shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. We're not to worry about the prosperity of wicked men, for God will change that sooner or later. Psalm 37 verse 10 says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Verse 7 says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Verse 8 goes on, Cease from anger and forsake wrath, Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Proverbs twenty four nineteen says, Fret not thyself because of evil men. Neither be thou envious at the wicked. Haman looked to success, but he hung from, hung from the noose he had prepared for Mordecai. Joseph was despised by his brothers, sold the Egyptians, put under their bondage, but they all came to bow before him. Daniel's conspirators were eaten by the lions they had planned for him. Understand, this verse is as true as John 3.16 and is to be believed no matter the circumstances. The evil bow before the good and the wicked at the gates of the righteous.